Now we're going to a little bit get a little bit busier here. Um, we're going to try to instead of doing the downstroke thing, we're going to do the back and forth picking. And uh, this is more for like more thrash beats or, or heavier stuff. I'm going to play the verse of Over the Wall. And what I'm doing is I'm doing some galloping picking with some bar chords. So it's... And what's really important is just to get the mute, you know, nice and muted there. Because if when you're, when you're galloping like that, if it's open, it's, it's going to sound messy. And, and the whole thing about thrash metal and playing really tight is uh, just to mute it so you get the real, it's a, more of a percussive kind of thing. So your hands are actually serving as not a drum, but just it's more of a percussive thing. So for instance, this is uh, the verse of Over the Wall. That's the muting part. If it wasn't muted, it'd be like... And that's grunge, and you don't want to do that. So here it is with the chord progression. What I'm doing on the chords is I'm doing that harmonic thing again, so it gives it... Rather than just... So all together again... I'll play that a little bit slower. Now, if you want, you can also act in, um, add in octaves, which is pretty cool. Another thing is too, we talked about bar chords and um, open E picking, fast picking and downstroking and stuff like that. Another thing that's pretty cool, uh, like a lot of the old Judas Priest stuff used to do that where they actually didn't do the, the full bar chord. Because they would do the, uh, the fifth and the octave. So instead of, you, lim you eliminate the root, you just hit those strings right there. So like a song like Grinder, instead of them going. You get more of that harmonic sound of going. I like to do that as well uh, with Testament. And here's an example. This is uh, Over the Wall again. So that's pretty cool. I mean, if it was a bar chord, you wouldn't get that. It'd be more like. So here's it a little bit slower. <laughs> 